the last couple of months, it's been pretty hard to be a Windows uh, user, Windows fan in general, because Microsoft seems to not care about the Windows mobile community. And with the last news, with the last leaks, Microsoft is supposedly not gonna release the creator's update to the older devices with the Nokia name still on them. For example, my Lumia 640 XL, uh, it's still a Lumia, but has the Microsoft logo, while the, um, the Lumia's like six, uh, 630, 730, all the brands with 30, they have the brand Nokia. So those devices supposedly will not receive this update because they have the, the Nokia brand, but I don't think it's that's the problem. I think the problem is the warranty, which is two years warranty. So it comes to that two years. So Microsoft is kind of ending the support for those devices, which it's not official yet. It's not, uh, we don't know if for sure if it's real or not, because like I said, it was a leak, but it might be real because Microsoft kind of did this in the past. So they are known for making this kind of bullshits. But it's so weird because for example, again, this 640XL has the same socket as the 735. So the Lumia 735 will not receive the update, supposedly, and this 640XL will receive the update. And even the 640, not even the 640XL, the 640, the smaller brother of this one, will receive the update. It hurts everyone, it hurts the Windows community because the Windows community was already small. Well, let's see what the future will bring, of course. Uh, but yeah, if this happens to you, then um, if, if you have already uh, Windows 10 installed, then you can install uh, the interlock tools and you can change your device. For example, if you have a 730, 730 or 735, then you can change the device to be like a 950 or even like uh, to be a 650 or even this one, 640XL. You can change in the, regedit, in the registry, you can change the device to be another device. So with that option, you will receive the update. Those devices, they receive the update through insider preview. So we will see if the official update will go to those devices. We still have to see that. But if it will not happen, then yeah, the only option is to use the interlock tools and change your device to be another device. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of um, tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. But if that will happen and that will be real, then I'm gonna do a tutorial myself to show how to change the registry on your phone to be another device. Here is another reason why this will happen, uh, if this will be real, of course. The same reason as previously. Yeah, the two year warranty and people giving bad feedback to the builds on those devices. I get like once a week or even more, uh, always a pop up asking, how is this build working on your device? Would well, you recommend your build to your friends? And you have to give a rating like from one star to five stars, or you can just um, skip it and you don't give anything. Most of the times I try to give like four stars, five stars, even though if the build is bad, I try to give four, five, four or five stars and then comment uh, below saying, uh, even if I gave four stars, but it deserved lower, I say that, okay, the build on this device didn't work well, but it can be improved by this and this and this. Uh, I normally try to give good feedback, not all the time bad feedback, because those devices, like 50% will not receive the update because people gave bad feedback to them. Like the 9, 9, 920, 925, that happened because uh, people gave them bad feedback, like, oh, the battery is so poor on this device, Windows 10 lags on this device so bad. So of course, Microsoft will not give the update to those devices if it lags, if the experience is not good. And here will happen the same. Uh, but here, the, it's like, like I said, here is like 50-50 performance and another 50% the warranty. Anyway, you guys asked me what's my opinion on this one and uh, yeah, it's not pretty, but um, it happens like with any other device. Look at Android, for example. Android, you have one year of updates. It depends which device you bought. If you bought a low-end device, then you don't even have updates. But yeah, on Android, you can go and install custom ROMs and stuff. Well, here you can go and change your registry and have like another device. But yeah, we didn't want to come to this stage, but if it will happen, then there is no, there's no way back. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.